Hi, you have reached the podcast of Professor Haim Shor. In this episode, Shamaim, the most counterintuitive yet scientifically accurate word in biblical Hebrew. Shamaim, the most counterintuitive yet scientifically accurate word in biblical Hebrew. The word Shamayim in Hebrew simply means sky, Rakia in Biblical Hebrew, Genesis 1 colon 8. And God called the Rakia Shamayim, and there was evening, and there was morning, second day. So why in the first chapter of Genesis, is the sky Rakia divinely called Shamayim? And why as claimed in the title, is Shamayim fundamentally counterintuitive, yet scientifically accurate? The word Shamayim comprises two syllables. The first is Sham, which simply means there. Namely, that which is inaccessible from here. The second syllable, Iam, is a suffix, namely, an affix, added to the end of the stem of the word. Such suffix is added, in Hebrew, to words that represent multiple objects appearing in a symmetric pair, or to objects which do not comprise a pair, however, they appear in symmetry. Thus, all visible organs in the human body, which appear in pairs, have same suffix. Examples are legs, raglium, hands, yadayim, eyes, Ainayim and ears, Osniyim. However, teeth, arranged in symmetry in the human mouth, though not in pairs, also have same suffix. Teeth in Hebrew is Shiniyim. Other examples may be read in my book, Chapter 5. Let us address the two claims in the title. Why Shamayim is counterintuitive? Why Shamayim is so scientifically accurate? The answer to the first claim is nearly self-evident. When one observes the sky at dark hours, the observed is far from symmetric. So much so, that the twelve zodiacal constellations had to be invented, in ancient times, to deliver some sense to the different non-symmetric configurations of stars that could be observed in the sky by the naked eye. Yet, despite the apparent non-symmetry observed in the sky, the divine granted the sky a descriptive word, which is indicative of the most fundamental property of the sky, as we have scientifically learned in recent times, namely, its symmetry, or uniformity, as preached by modern cosmology. To learn how fundamentally uniform or symmetric the universe is, the reader is referred to chapters 5 and 7 of my book and references therein. Another good source to learn about the uniformity of the universe, as observed via telescopes and integrated into modern science, is the presentation by Don Lincoln at Wondrium Channel. A link to this presentation at YouTube may be found in the Allied Post on Hyamshore.blog. It is worth noting the term desert addressed in the lecture. In modern cosmology, desert is used to denote the uniformity of the universe at the Big Bang in the beginning. Surprisingly, the words tohu vavohu describing the universe in the beginning, Genesis 1 colon 2, are also associated with desert. We realize that, as we study how these words are employed elsewhere, in the Hebrew Bible. Consider, for example, Jeremiah for colon 23, 26. I beheld the earth, and, lo, it was tohu vavohu. I beheld, and, lo, the fruitful land has become the desert. Refer also to Isaiah 34 colon 11. So, Shamayim is counterintuitive, and at odds with the picture, 
revealed in ancient times to the naive observer, our pre-science ancestors. Shamayim yet accurately describes current scientific picture of the universe as crystallized in the last hundred years or so, based on cumulative empirical data and on modern theories of the evolution and structure of the universe. Articulated more simply, Whatever direction in the sky we wish to point to, Shamayim implies that it is all the same. This is in contrast to what the naked eyes are telling us. This is in conformance with what modern science is telling. Personal Confession Mind-boggling Thank you for listening. Until the next episode, goodbye.